Hey guys, welcome to the channel today. Um, well, I guess what we have today is a new deck that I've never tried before. I just kind of put some cards together and kind of made it. I haven't seen it anywhere. A lot of the decks that I play, I usually see somewhere either on another uh, video and I try them out and I, <laughs> I'm like, oh yeah, they did, they did super good with it. Then I should do dang good with it too. And, you know, it doesn't work out super great. And I'm not sure why uh, <laughs> my placements must be like one tile off all the time. So I'm going to get some pro advice pretty soon here, and I'm pretty excited about that because that's going to help me out a ton. I hope. I hope. Anyway, so I put this deck together. It's got um, the, the giant in it, which for my level, level 11, I should have level 9 rares, I think. And most of my rares are level 8. And then all my commons are pretty much level 10, 11. Some of them are level 1. And then my, my legendaries all in this deck are actually level 2. So that's actually pretty dang good. And so I'm almost level 3 in a couple of them, it looks like. That's... That's actually sweet, sweet. Anyway, so I'm gonna get into one replay. I played two times with this thing. The first one I should have won, but I lagged out like the first minute and a half, which was super annoying. But if you compare the card level, so it's a level 10, but his card levels are basically higher than me. He's got level 11 commons, and then he's got level eight rares, except for the ice golem level seven, but and then his legendary is level three. So his card levels are all pretty much the same. Um, if not, most of the time when I face level 10, they're higher, and I've dropped down in trophies quite a bit because I've been trying new decks out just to mess around and see what I can do with these different things. So basically, um, let's see here. We'll speed up the first little part of this just so we can get get going on this and get some live battles in. Um, he drops down Tombstone, Ice Wizard in the back, and so my Executioner and Ice Wizard kind of stay separated, which is really good. And he zaps my Dark Goblin, which I don't know why he did that, because it didn't take him out. And I think he thought it was going to take him out, and then he has to use Arrows as well, which actually helped me out, because he had to use a lot of Elixir. And so I was able to take out his Elite Barbs, and look at that little Executioner. Oh my gosh, I'm going to slow it down just a second here. Oh, spit it up too much. Um, slow it down a little bit. But the Executioner stayed alive forever, and basically took everything out, and so... We're pretty even on Elixir right now going into this, and he's ahead on some tower damage. So I'm starting to feel the burn just a little bit, but I'm getting in here, getting back in here. And the main thing with this is um, I try not to use my graveyard till really late in the battle because it's usually a great surprise card. Nobody sees it coming. See right there, I got about a thousand um, damage on his tower, so it worked out really well. Give me the crying face, of course, because... I surprised him with it. I did. He didn't know what was coming. Then I threw the log, took out the tombstone perfectly, and got a little damage on the tower. Now watch here. Three shots. Three shots. One, two, three from the Dark Goblin. Once he gets across that bridge, if you can get him across the bridge, he does absolutely awesome. Absolutely awesome. So now we're just both chilling. And this is where I went really wrong. He actually did way good here because he launches Hog Rider and his predictive arrows. Kind of predictive, I guess. Took out my minions, and there was pretty much nothing I could do about it. So I'm like, screw that. Went on the other side with the giant, through the graveyard down, going for a big push here. Dang those elite barbs, they are taking everything out. Oh. Oh. They are taking pretty much everything out, which is, um, you know, that's what elite barbs do. And so pretty much at this point, I pretty much say goodbye to that tower. I think he gets it down, oh, watch this, down to, oh, I thought that was... I mean, must have been the last battle, but he got it down to one. It was funny. Anyway, he's got it down to 60, so that Pratt Tower is pretty much zappable. He has a zap in his hand, so he's pretty much going to zap that tower. So I better start working on the offense. I still don't have a tower yet, and I'm not even close to a tower. Well, I'm pretty close, I guess. So, 321. Giant goes in there, gets a swing off. I think we get, like, one, one skeleton in there. I don't even know where. Oh, the Dark Goblin got a little dart in there. The Dark Goblin saved the day. Saved the day. Because none of the skeletons were getting there because he had minions on top of the graveyard. So that Dark Goblin, absolutely clutch in that instant. That was absolutely insane. Insane. So, <laughs> that was nuts. So Dark Goblin with the Ice Wizard. Dark Goblin is doing a ton of damage to this tower. There's pretty much nothing you can do about it. The Giant is tanking for the Dark Goblin. And I think the Dark Goblin basically took out that entire second arena tower by itself so throw the dark goblin in your deck if you have a chance he was super fun to play with anyway we're gonna <laughs> we're gonna try a live battle here see if we can't get um something put together um start getting some anyway we're gonna try this live battle here and see if we can't do the same thing to gert dw okay um but you do not a bad starting hand, so basically I like to stay back a little bit on this bad boy. See what he launches first, so he threw his Ice Wizard down, so I'll see his Ice Wizard, and I will raise him an Ice Wizard. 
a level two ice wizard, so you can eat it. And then we should be able to take all those um, fire spirits out. Oh, I didn't know that they were gonna get too, uh oh, that's gonna hurt. Dang it, that really hurt. That fireball, I didn't think it was gonna take out my ice wizard, but it sure did, it sure did. So we're gonna start a slow push over on this side since that executioner is pretty much dead. Ooh, did not see that coming. I don't know what to do. We're gonna have to wait until that fire, we're gonna have to eat that fire spirit pretty much and then put the guard, guard goblin down. And then I don't want to, gosh dang it. We're gonna have to take those out because I don't want my dark goblin to die. The dark goblin should do pretty dang good against that furnace. Unless he puts minions down, of course. Oh, I was gonna level my minions up. I think I can level my minions up. Uh, I'm gonna do that next time. So the executioner hopefully will take out those elite barbs. Oh man. Is he missing the one? No, he's got... No! Oh my gosh, that did so much damage to my little dude. So maybe we'll get the giant in front of the executioner and we might be able to get a, a little attack in here soon. Hopefully... No! Don't take him out! Why do you always take him out? Gosh, he just wants to do a little bit of damage. You know? What do you ever do to you, really? Hopefully that dark goblin will take out that archer and then do damage. <laughs> no, he fireballed him. That's okay, that's okay. We're not doing too bad. I think we're we're a little bit behind, obviously, but we're not doing too bad. He's got Royal Giant, and so I'm gonna save Ice Wizard right here for the Royal Giant. As soon as he puts him down, he might put Furnace down first, so we'll put Ice Wizard there, because I know he's gonna attack. Maybe that was dumb. Maybe that was dumb. Maybe he wasn't gonna, maybe we're way ahead on Elixir and I didn't even know it. So we're gonna put Minions down. Did he, oh, I thought he left the match. That's actually really bad. We'll put Executioner down to defend against that. We'll put Giant down on our side. And then we should be able to take that giant Royal Giant out just with... There we go. There we go. There we go. We'll get that Graveyard in there. And hopefully, maybe we'll get Miner back in there too. Oh, crap, 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 crap. I think I might have overextended just a little bit on that tower. Hopefully, I can take out those Elite Barbs really quickly. Come on, come on, come on, come on. There we go. And then... We're pretty much toast on this match here, I think, because, gosh dang, he's going to just fireball that. And then we're going to go on this side. <laughs> I switched sides. <laughs> I'm such a dork. <laughs> but yeah, we're going to go on this side. That makes sense. <laughs> no, it doesn't. It doesn't make sense at all. So we pretty much took out that side. We're pretty much toast on this little game here. Um, we're going to try this again, though. Don't worry. I'm going to level up my minions, and that might make all the difference in the world. You watch. We're going to level up the minions to level 11 and see if that helps a little bit. Come on, come on, come on, get out of there. So where did we go wrong there? Oh, we faced a royal giant. That's where we went wrong. That's what happened. Just kidding. Uh, those guys are tough. So we're going to level those bad boys up. I've been waiting a while to do it. I got to do it. I use them in most of my decks, and so it's really hard to spend that much gold. Um, but, you know, you got to do it now and again. You just got to. All right, so maybe we can pull this one together against Speed Killer here. Alright, what are we going to do first? What are we going to do first? Let's start up a push in the back. We're going to take control of this match right from the get-go instead of waiting around. Oh my gosh, he's got a bowler. That's so annoying. So annoying. What do I have against a bowler? Minions, but they're clear back somewhere in Timbuktu land. So we'll have to put Executioner. Don't go there. And then we'll put Miner down. Oh dear, that's a problem. Oh! Actually, that minor, that executioner should take out those elite barbs pretty well. That actually worked out really well in our favor, I think. Not too shabby, not too bad. But we didn't get a whole lot of damage on the tower and the boulder's still coming in there pretty hot. We'll put Ice Wizard over here. And then he's gonna drop another bowler on top of his previous bowler. And that's gonna not be good for him because our minions are gonna take him out all the way. And then we should be able to take that minion I'm not too worried about at all. Our ice wizard's gonna die. So we're gonna get another giant push right here at the... Oh, get in front of the ice wizard. Nope, he didn't get in front of the ice wizard. Is he in front of the ice wizard? Yeah, I think he is. So that worked out really well. Too bad we don't have ex... Oh, I should have used the executioner. We're gonna log all that back. And then that little dark goblin's gonna take all the barbarians out. Come on, all of them. One two. Oh, so close. Almost took them all out. So that's not bad. He has level freaking 12 barbarians, of course. I don't know how these level 10s always have like level 14 cards. So flus frustrating. So we're going to put Executioner right here and start up another slow push here in the back. And then we will put Ice Wizard down to get ready for that action. And then we'll throw a Miner in there. 
Maybe the miner will distract the bowler. I don't know. And that way we can get some damage. Oh, that executioner's doing a ton of stuff to that tower. <laughs> that worked out really well. We're going to put giant down here on defense. Ooh. We're going to have to log all that back to take out that musketeer because if we didn't, that dang freaking musketeer would have done a ton of stuff to us. we got to get our executioner queued up. We have to. Okay. Executioner should do a ton of damage to all that action right there. And then we should be able to take out... Oh, crap. What? The mega minion one-shotted my little dark goblin. That hurt my feelings. That's going to hurt. So we have to attack really hard. Gosh dang, that hurt really bad. We're going to have to put graveyard down. And then I don't know what we're going to do here. Hopefully that graveyard does more damage than I think it's going to do. But I don't think it's going to. That didn't do too bad, really. Okay, take all that out. I don't care. I'm going to put another Ice Wizard down. And then I'm going to bolt all that away. And then we'll put Giant down on defense. And then we'll put Executioner down over here. Should take all that action out. Why is he putting the bowler down? Oh, crap. Don't bowl him away. Don't bowl him away. Perfect. Perfect. Okay, we should be able to get that in there. And then stop fireballing my stuff. <laughs> Come on. We got to get this. We have to get this. Put, put the miner there and then the graveyard. And we should be able to do... No, 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 no. No, we were so close close dang it that's so frustrating oh my gosh every time i flip and do this okay anyway whatever <laughs> so frustrating <laughs> anyway so it is a fun day it does pretty good if you know what you're doing i don't know i think i just made a few mistakes there uh unintentional ones and i think i should have been more aggressive there if you like what you saw go ahead and subscribe comment leave some likes below and good luck